Hey Cancer, how are you? Good to see you. I'm Kat. I'm going to do your reading for March 2024. So remember to take what resonates, leave the rest. You can also check out your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus for more information. So let's get started. I hope everyone is well. And what do we have for Cancer Spirit for March 2024? What do we have for Cancer? March 2024. So I'm hearing a whole different person. So some of you guys have really went through like uh, the dark night of the soul here. Um, and there's a lot of transformation going on. I'm, I'm seeing the butterfly. So um, and the cocoon. Okay, so you have the caterpillar, then you have the cocoon, then you have the butterfly. But in the cocoon, they say it's rather painful, right, to transfer or um, not to transfer, but to to have that transformation into the butterfly. But I feel like, but you come out something totally different is what I'm getting. I feel like it's been, this has been a rather painful process for you. Um, I'm hearing triggered. Something triggered you to go into this, um, this place of transformation. Um, and that could vary uh, for many of you. But something, something happened here. But yeah, it's like you're you're shedding your old skin here, and like you're moving away from people, places, and things that that no longer serve you is what I'm getting. You're you're starting to realize who's for you and who's not. I'm hearing that as well. Thank you, spirit. It's like you're you're changing the way you move cancer you're changing um, the places you go even the people that you hang out with you're, you're changing this I'm, I'm just getting a strong energy of um, being a different person you know uh, not saying it but actually doing it and the actions that you have is proving it like you're different and people are going to notice that you're different and when you start to elevate you'll start to see people kind of fall off right they they no longer resonate with you anymore um you're just no longer feeling it um and, th and that can be a painful process right um it can and actually looking at ourselves and seeing what's toxic and what needs to change and things like that that can be a very painful process as well so let's see what do we have for Cancer in March 2024, Spirit? What do we have for Cancer? Protest. Start a revolution. Protest. You have 28 here and 10. So a cycle could be closing for you. Um, because you have 28 equals 10. Let's see. Start a revolution. So, yeah, what I'm getting with this is cancer. You could be wanting to speak out about something, something that you're very passionate about. Spirit is saying to do that in a respectful way. Um, you can protest or stand up for yourself or stand up for others and things like that or stand up for what you believe in. Um, only when it's safe to do so, though, right? Um, it's not like starting a riot. It's just you're protesting on something, okay? You may seem, you may come across something that seems unfair in the month of March or something that is just not just. Um, I'm getting that as well. Spirit is saying it's okay to stand up for yourself. It's okay to protest against it or to protest for it, right? Um, as long as it's not hurting you or it's not hurting anyone else. That's what I'm getting. So what do we have here? Let's get some love messages for you guys. The month of March. What do we have for love for cancer? I'm also hearing Gemini. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. 
already have it in your chart. You might want to check out the Gemini reading. Okay, let's see. What do we have for Cancer? You are the best thing in my life. So someone here wants you to know that you are the best thing in their life. You are. Okay, past tense. So they're recognizing your worth now is what I'm hearing. They're recognizing your worth now or how important you were to them in the month of March. They're recognizing that. Girl talk, okay? What is this? Time with friends moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and um, having fun. So some of you guys are really going to just be living in the moment when it comes to like your love life, okay? Some of you could be recently single. But yeah, I, I'm getting with this, someone didn't recognize your worth, Cancer. Okay, but they're realizing it now. And I feel like um, you could be going out with friends, could be a, a new social group here. You're moving on too, so you could be you know, finding your soul tribe is what I'm hearing. Because I feel like you're moving away from certain people, places, and things. Um, so that, you know, gives you like a moving on. And you're, you know, you're happily single and you're just trying to live in the moment, which is beautiful. Just living in the moment. Just being present in the moment and having fun. So I like that. I do like that. I have for kids. March 2024 for cancer. Spirit. What do we have for cancer? 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 March 2024. Oh, the lovers. So we have Gemini. Yeah, some of you definitely can have Gemini in your chart. Or you're dealing with the Gemini because I was hearing that strongly from spirit. What else? Yeah, the five of wands. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely someone new could be coming into your life, right? Cancer or just a new opportunity but what i'm getting here you have the lovers which is a strong love connection here um could be same sex doesn't have to be but and see the snake too shedding old skin right you're, you're becoming someone different you're becoming someone different um and then you have the five of wands which could be chaos conflict um competition things like that just, you know, a lot of people could be in your energy in the month of March, but you're changing. You could have a choice to make in regards to love, right? And then you have, like, because you have, like, this new beginning when it comes to, like, st stability. Um, someone could want to gift you something even, or you could want to gift someone something. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Which is your energy. So being very loving and caring and, and, and very intuitive and in tune with your emotions here. Or you're dealing with someone that exhibits those energies. So you definitely could have a decision to make because the lovers is a choice too. It could be a decision that you have to make. But there's a strong um, love tie here with someone. I feel like, yeah, there's someone here that's realizing that you were the best thing for them and that they have a lot of love for you. This is someone that you, you know, if you were in a relationship with this person, there was a lot of fights, arguments, competition, things like that. But then there's something new here um, coming in for you. This Ace of Pentacles. Give me more on that. This is Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. 
definitely you could be dealing with another water sign or someone that has water in their chart as well but I feel like Cancer you could be giving someone an offer or someone's giving you an offer when it comes to a new beginning instability yeah something long term here I feel like someone in the month of March could be coming in and they're going to be expressing some emotions some um Yes, somebody could have been, honestly, because there's three people in this card. Someone could have been getting in the way, that, you know, causing fights or conflict or something like that. But um, the Nine of Cups is, you know, typically someone that comes in and, and they whine and dine you, you know. Um, they're very charismatic. They're fun. Um, I feel like you're just going to be living in the moment, though, when this person comes in. You're going to be living in the moment. You could be single and just, you know, want to date. You could be going out on a date. You know, someone giving you an offer to go out. But it could lead to something long-term. Here's something very stable. Let's get the lovers for cancer. What do we have for cancer? What's this lovers? Yeah, so two major arcana, three major arcana is here. You have the lovers, you have the hair font, and you have the um, hanged man. So something here was stagnant. Something here was put on a pause. Something here was frozen, I'm hearing. Um, when it comes to a commitment, um, even marriage or something traditional or something like that. And I do feel like it was due to possibly, um, you know, Outer conflict, other people, you know, competition, third parties, whatever, you know, um, I'll take it how it resonates. But I feel like there's an offer coming in, and it could be from this person that, you know, is now realizing that you were the best thing that ever happened to them, you know, the best thing that ever happened in their life. And they want to come in and they want to, like, express some emotion to you. But yeah, they want they want an equal give and take. So something here ha has been stagnant. Something here has been stagnant, and and this could be inner conflict within yourself too as well. Um, you know, in in regards to you know leaving, you could have some inner conflict and leaving some people behind and you know people, places, and things behind because I was getting that. You know, you're you're having a transformation here. And um, I feel like moving forward, there's a new opportunity to have something stable. Yeah, someone here definitely wants to come in. They want to express emotions, and they want to show you, you know, how much they they love you. And it definitely could be some someone new. If it's not someone new, then it's someone that wants to renew a connection here. But they're gonna they're gonna really show you. You know how much it is you know how much they care for you and how much you know they appreciate you because it's saying clearly here that you were the best thing that ever happened to them and they definitely want um, an equal give and take you know and I'm also hearing you feel the same way there is some fears here um, and I feel like you're gonna take your time cancer in starting a, you know yeah a new passionate beginning and there's healing here as well you have Pisces, Taurus, Gemini. But I feel like there's going to be definitely some equal give and take in, in regards to a relationship or in regards to starting something new or renewing. It's uh, just a lot of healing too. And and maybe you don't see this coming or, or someone here doesn't see it coming. They're, there could be some fears in regards to, you know, um, starting anew or um, renewing something with someone and or just starting uh, new with someone new. You know, there could be fears, but I feel like you're going to take your time and you're going to have this, you know, new passionate uh, beginning. Not only will it be passionate, but it will also be stable and it'll also be healing as well. Um, Aquarius energy. Sagittarius, Pisces, and your energy. So, Cancer, I feel like there is some fear here when it comes to this because you are, um, you know, 
you are you are happily um, single perhaps you know living in the moment and having fun I feel like this person is fun I feel like um, yeah you know like moving forward there's this new opportunity of stability and of passion and things like that and of healing and um, I do feel like there is someone coming in that's going to express how much they like you, um, how much they would like to, you know, go out with you. Just make sure that there's no third parties. Yeah, I feel like this is going to come in quick. There's going to be a lot of communication. Um, somebody here doesn't want to see you go. Um, there could be travel, though. Um, if not, then there's just a lot of fast communication, a lot of pa uh, passionate, though. Uh, communication with someone, you know, text messages, phone calls, things like that. But someone here wants an equal give and take. You know, they want reciprocity. They want reciprocity. But yeah. So just remember, you know, just to, if you, you know, need to stand up for yourself, especially when it comes to this energy, when it's other people trying to get in the way or trying to, you know, feed your head full of things and, and stuff like that, you know, like Spirit says, you know, it's okay to stand up for yourself. It's okay to speak out as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting others, right? You can, um, you absolutely should do so. Um, so Cancer, that's what I'm getting for you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your March and I'll talk to you later. Bye.